Good morning, Martians. Well, it looks like Take on Mars has a third post-launch update. Version 1.0.0007. Released. So, yeah, stumbled across this, and they have, it looks like they've done a lot of work on the net code revisions for fixing the crashes and multiplayer related to building blocks and you know how they didn't sync up uh, for each of us when we're trying to play multiplayer then they have technical notes here that I guess they kind of covered with the spoiler kind of situation here uh, said they rewrote the flow of the new remote procedural call RPC and deleted the packet flow and all that <coughs> I'm not gonna go into the technical stuff which is probably why they covered it with the whole spoiler um, when they talk about how you know multiplayer has been an issue and some of the things they've done to fix it but i want to jump down to um how they added finally the construction tool uh, the tools to the printer now now you can print them because i some of you know i left them off of my last map because i assumed they were in the printer for some reason and they were not and they added a new vehicle that's my main uh goal for this video is to talk about the new manned aerial transport pretty cool pretty cool a small lightweight thrust powered aircraft used for flying between areas and transporting small objects such as barrels um, it's printable in the 3d printer <coughs> and the next they're gonna be working on more bugs they say here and thanks for your support and whatnot I, I'm not gonna read it verbatim but you get the gist here um, and it lists some of the other fixes they did on what date like May 9th fixed life support module not working correctly on clients on joining a game in progress fixed building block group creation creation code breaking multiplayer with new net code overhaul now i'm thinking that we were talking before where i'll have to, uh, like a thousand blocks laying on the ground like say i print like 150 things it starts lagging me out but once you connect it to the building i'm thinking that that somehow groups it now it's considered one object now I, I wish that was true i'm not really sure if it is i'll have to do some testing but yeah that would be nice big time added a 3d gui monitor to the manned aerial transport back on uh, may 3rd added manned aerial transport to the 3d printer list which i'll show you that here in a second uh, may 2nd added character tools such as the construction tools etc to the 3d printer list thank god for that hey what's that on the ground right there hey wait a minute is that a nickel no 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 just rock my bet um 28th of april fixed spawning issue that cropped up due to massive changes to the net code yeah imagine that unheard of i know and all that but yeah let's just deny it uh fixed dynamic atmospheric zones now this is important that's where the air will flow from one room to another and you can kind of zone it when you're Making it, I like that. In vehicles not synchronized due to massive changes in the net code. Well, that's where, you know, Colin will drive off in a car and the car's still sitting there for me. And he's just, you know, out zipping around. Or vice versa. We've uh, noticed that. Uh, I think none you know and I did the longest video on uh, what's buggy as hell on Take on Mars. We might check that one out. And I'm not going to link to it below. Hunt and pick and search, buddy bro. You might find something you like. Anyway, fixed infinite spawn loop in the 3d printer oh wow what is that like a a queue nope i think it was a bug march 3rd added new vehicle manned aerial transport yay i'll put a picture up here and show it to you in a minute massive multiplayer net code overhaul with a flow and the new and the delete and the rp call functions were not consistent on clients possibly causing this wait you put the word possibly in there really how about definitely caused issues all right so and then they have a picture of the new aerial so what i'm gonna do here instead of just stand here like a monkey let's just back up a little bit and there it is right there on my right your left and here it is hovering as a uh, over the printer so you can definitely print it so let's jump in there and get busy looking at it first we'll look at it in the printer just so i can get the full name correctly jump in here manned aerial transport and wow, can you make that text any smaller? Let's see if I can zoom in here. The manned aerial transport is a flight capable two seat transport with a small cargo bay, and it's about the size of the trunk on the Doom Buggy. 
at the rear of the resource barrel transport. Okay, so it's like I'm going to throw some fuel in it to take it out to you. So that's what that looks like there. But let's go take a look at it. We already got Wilson over there. Look at him. Wilson, don't you dare think about it. Okay, over here in the back. Look at this thing. <laughs> oh, it's good. So you got the automatic trunk. That always bugs me, but it's pretty neat. Little thrusters on the back. I got me some fuel in there. Got an extra helmet in case, you know, when my buddies smash it open. So go give him a new helmet. I think I put a range finder in there. I'm not sure. Then you got the fuel right over here in the front. You got same as everything else. Ooh, that's a nice little holder there. A little different than before. Uh, we got the oxygen. Uh, and we got over here. Hydrogen. It's not the methane. It's hydrogen. You got some spotlights. So when you're coming down at night, you can find your buddies. Wait a minute. Is it only lights on the front? Well, it's probably overkill as it is. I wonder if they fixed the light lag. Let's uh take this baby up. What do you think? It's kind of hard to get in. There we go. Uh, am, I, am I the driver? Um. Yeah, okay, I have to come uh, the driver home, because I'll he got in first. So let's uh put this away. And I think he has to get out. Hey, get out for a second, will you, so I can get in first? Oh my god. Okay, well, we are hovering. Instead of getting out, we took off. So quickly! Oh my god! Stabilize! Wilson! Oh no, Wilson's flying. This is not good. This is not good. Easy. Easy. Can you please land it, Wilson? Please? Land it? Why is it still sitting there on the ground and we're flying? I don't get this. This is like really not cool. Uh, um, it may be a bug. Did you just eject us out of the thing, Wilson? You freaking idiot! How do I get out of this chair? Get me out of here! Oh my god, you ejected us out of the freaking thing. You idiot! Oh, okay, it comes with an ejection seat, as you can see. That's very interesting. Let's go take a look at it without the actual control seat in it. Oh, freaking believable. Wilson, you push one button. I swear to God. All right, look at this thing. So evidently it comes with an ejection seat. Um. Um. So is it ruined now? Can I pick that thing up? Wilson, get out of that chair. jump back into it. Why did you do it, Wilson? Yeah, you better run. Okay, look, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump over here and get another one. Because I kinda wanna fly it around in the right way. You freaking dork. Okay, so I deleted it and it left the barrel floating there. So we'll see how that works. Let's drop another one in right over here. And I'll show you where it's at in the menu. Under vehicles. Scroll down to, let's see, here we got rovers, other. Here we go, manned aerial transport. So we'll drop another one in there. So, I'm not really sure how I feel about the ejection seat. But, yeah, there you go. It has one. Then... You can select the thing, because you see there's no fuel barrels in it. If you select it, you right-click. Down here, you can go spawn fuel containers. That puts them in, fills them up for you. And can generate missions, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to mess with that. Now, deselect it. And let's jump back in over there. And, yeah, I don't know what's happening. These guys are just hanging here. Are they real? No. no okay, so we got some kind of a weird glitch there. I, I gotta point all this crap out to you guys so you're aware of it. If you're deleting it in the... Probably if I reloaded, if those would probably be gone. If I turn that off too. Okay, let's see here. So there's an ejection seat, eh? Okay, well how do you get out of it without ejecting the seat? Was I... Let's try it again. You stay here, you freaking... Let's try this again. Alright, so... Did I pull... Oh, there it is. That yellow handle there. I bet you that's what Wilson yanked on. You 
freaking. All right, let's try this the right way. What do we got over here? I can't zoom or what? There we go, a little bit closer. So we got a map. There's the fuel. What does that say right there? Is the name of it? Oh, it's probably the name of the vehicle. Like courage or something. I can't really read it. Land cam. Landing cam. Um. I don't really see anything there. So let's see. I'm not sure. I didn't see. If okay, so there's the fuel. So the cam, either it's on the bottom of the leg, and not hitting the ground or what. But let's go ahead and try to fly this baby around. But without pulling that handle. Can I just... How do I... Surely I, I don't pull that handle. Oh god, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Get a different view here. Oh, okay. Whoa, okay. Um. That's weird. I'm hitting what I would normally think of is up here. I, I can go forward. How come he could get it? Oh, he didn't. He just launched us up out of the seat. All right, let's see here. What do I got going on? You got forward. Retrograde. Oh, there you go. I'm hitting the shift key to go up. And it does want to fall back. Oh, okay. So it hovers pretty good. Look at that. And... You turn... Now it's kind of like the the plane vertical lander and takeoff. Should we land on Wilson Space for getting us killed like that? So okay, so you can eject out of it by pulling that handle. That's pretty cool. Hey, this is neat. So if you're running some parts out to somebody, some fuel. Oh wow, look at that. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to the other view. Wow, that's pretty cool, man. So that means if you pull this handle, you eject. Like if you're gonna crash, it's like a controlled crash. I don't know. Let's just go back. See if I can figure out how to land this baby. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't want to make this a super long video, but look at that, dude. This is amazing. You can run supplies out to your mining. Although it doesn't really any faster than driving the buggy. All right, let's see if we can go down. that was um nope, 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 nope um we get retrograde we want to go down though right oh oh oh, oh. control gently it's easy oh for the love of it. all right gotta be really careful now how Trying to figure out how to get the hell out of the seat. So let's go back to the other uh, first person view. And I think double tap and E will get you out. Just don't click that handle. The ejection handle. So I'm going to double click E by not looking at the handle. I hit it once. I'm not getting that thing. Let's hit it again. Okay, so just don't look at the handle and you can jump out. There you go. Not sure why you'd want to eject out of the damn thing, except for when you're gonna crash. I think Wilson's getting ready to die, so yeah. There you go. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm gonna be using it. And we're gonna be testing out the net code with uh, a few of us and see if we can get some multiplayer going on. Woohoo! Buddy Row. So yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. Have a good one. I'll catch you next time. Wilson, I'm coming for you, dude. Seriously.